Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Now today I want to demonstrate to you the simplest trick to find the value of y in this given diagram. Now to get the value of y, we'll start by completing this semicircle to be a complete circle. Now if you've done that, in that the inscribed rectangle, the inscribed rectangle will be will be symmetrical about the diameter. So it means if this length from this point to B is Y, then from C to this point is also is also Y. Then from the length from A to B if it is 3, then automatically from C to D will also be 3. Then if you have from this point to C is 4, then from point B to this point in the circumference, will also be before because the inscribed rectangle will make it symmetrical so we shall now utilize the method of the intersecting chords now if you see chord a d and this chord from here up to here we can say let this point maybe to be to be e then this point to be f now you can see chord a d and and e f are intersecting at b so if you use the theorem of intersecting chords then it means chord a d will be a to b times b to d so a b times b to d should be equals to e to b e to b times b to f times b to f that is using the theorem of intersecting chords now a to b from a to b is 3 then it is times b to d from b to d is 13 plus 3 that is 16 to be equals to e to b from e to b is the y and that is what we are looking for then it is times b to f so from b to f is 4 which was similar to that so we have y times 4 so how do we get y for us to get y we simply divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of y which is 4. So here 4 cancels with 4, 4 goes here once, 4 goes here 4 times. So you'll remain with y to be equals to 3 times 4 which is 12. Ladies and gentlemen that is the simplest trick to determine the value of y. If you have a much more simpler trick leave it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch our next video.